Some of the vapor that is formed by day does not rise high because the ratio of the fire that is raising it to the water that is being raised is small. When this cools and descends at night, it is called dew and hoarfrost. When the vapor is frozen before it has condensed to water again, it is hoarfrost. And this appears in winter and is commoner in cold places. It is dew when the vapor is condensed into water and the heat is not so great as to dry up the moisture that has been raised, nor the cold sufficient, owing to the warmth of the climate or season, for the vapor itself to freeze. For dew is more commonly found when the season or the place is warm, whereas the opposite, as has been said, is the case with hoarfrost. For obviously vapor is warmer than water, having still the fire that raised it. Consequently, more cold is needed to freeze it. Both dew and hoarfrost are found when the sky is clear and there is no wind. For the vapor could not be raised unless the sky were clear, and if a wind were blowing, it could not condense. The fact that hoarfrost is not found on mountains contributes to prove that these phenomena occur because the vapor does not rise high. One reason for this is that it rises from hollow and watery places, so that the heat that is raising it, bearing as it were too heavy a burden, cannot lift it to a great height, but soon lets it fall again. A second reason is that the motion of the air is more pronounced at a height, and this dissolves a gathering of this kind. Everywhere, except in Pontus, dew is found with south winds and not with north winds. There the opposite is the case, in that it is found with north winds and not with south. The reason is the same as that which explains why dew is found in warm weather and not in cold. For the south wind brings warm, and the north, wintry weather. For the north wind is cold and so quenches the heat of the evaporation. But in Pontus, the south wind does not bring warmth enough to cause evaporation, whereas the coldness of the north wind concentrates the heat by a sort of recoil, so that there is more evaporation and not less. This is a thing which we can often observe in other places too. Wells, for instance, give off more vapor in a north than in a south wind. Only the north winds quench the heat before any considerable quantity of vapor is gathered, while in a south wind the evaporation is allowed to accumulate. Water, once formed, does not freeze on the surface of the earth in the way that it does in the region of the clouds.